place we're exploring today is another little grove slash tufts of, tuft of woods uh, a little bit beyond the uh, town's border and just like the apple orchard this one is also a very popular site for dog walking and uh, granny walking and all that I do hope we're not going to run into anybody here because I haven't actually been to this area for a very long time so I don't really know my way around it um, Doc? What you're doing? When I was a wee kindergarten urchin then I remember that uh, this uh, particular neck of woods was the site where you took the kids when you wanted to take them quote unquote into the woods but you didn't actually want to go anywhere out of town so I, I know that I have actually been here numerous times I just don't remember it very well hmm. I think these might actually be my tracks from yesterday This path seems to be leading back to the railroad, so I don't know how long I will continue on with this. I'm gonna try to turn to my right soon. Yep, that's the railroad over there. So shall we go in here maybe? Okay, we have now caught up with the path that we missed earlier. The elusive ice bush anomaly. On our right, there's a little structure in the woods. I think it might be a hunting cabin, like or, or like a shelter where you ambush boars. Or maybe it's an older structure altogether. In fact, let's go investigate. A bucket. Checking for traps. Okay, and here's the main attraction itself. Oh, doesn't look like a hunting cabin. I think uh, somebody has been squatting here actually. Uh, with a computer and everything. So either it's uh, some teens have made a very very substantial playhouse or I'm, I'm pretty sure somebody has actually taken proper shelter here. There are like tools and such. Doesn't seem to be in use now though. Try to cross this creek. Easy, easy. easy. Oh. The terrain instantly changes. So, what's up with this stone here? like there's a little ditch or, or canal leading to that other ditch. Bunny poop. So that's it. We have meandered on the path a little bit and uh, took some shortcuts and now we have come out of the other side. And this is where we came in at first. I admit uh, this piece of woods doesn't actually evoke uh, a strong zonish uh, sense in me as the orchard did. In fact, uh, deeper in where all the birches are, uh, it felt more like uh, the long dark. You know, that one particular corner in Pleasant Valley with all the birches and such. Maybe, maybe it could use an antenna or something, <laughs> then it would be right. But yes, this was our little trip in here today. Thank you very much for watching.
Thank you for bearing with us. And maybe we shall see in the next one. Bye.